Uh -huh. Let's see. Makeup. Is this a tutorial or what? But okay, it doesn't matter. It's makeup. Okay, what? Oh, yeah, some, some Amazon. Like, why the order? The cross. Always say. If it's gonna end up in your face, there's no point. Like, you know, applying it in a certain fashion. Just like, go with it. Maybe wrong, but this is the foundation. I can't be wrong about this being a foundation. It's the first thing you did. And I mean, like the concept of foundation means that you know it's the first thing that you do. So yeah. Okay. Next. Brushes. So many brushes. Eyebrows, eyeliner. Nah, it's supposed to be a mascara. Okay, yeah, second foundation. Okay, this is different. Okay, how come this one is not going like on your forehead or whatever? Okay. I'm trying to figure out why this one isn't covering the entire face. And um, to everyone's surprise, I haven't figured it out. I mean, it should cover the whole face, no? I mean, like, why would you have like, why would you want to have different textures, or maybe with different appearances? Below your eyes, there's something. Then above your eyes, there's something. But okay, who am I to judge? Nah. Is there some dermatological uh, reason why this thing went below your, your, your eyes? <laughs> Hi guys, I did biology. I don't remember saying, I don't remember being taught that, uh, I don't know, above your eyes the skin is a certain way and then below your eyes the skin is a certain way. I... So no. This thing has no scientific backing. Oh, and tea. Whatever fluid or beverage. Yeah, you are. What, now the skin Mm, like closest to the ear is different from the one feather from the ear. Okay. If you smell, <laughs> I help you help go through a lot. Uh -uh. I'll go through a lot. <laughs> Too much. Why would, you sniff, why would you sniff a brush? But I guess you know, you've been doing something for a while. I was that a sniff? <laughs> yeah. 
like you you legit forgot about your forehead what happened okay i don't know how to do makeup but ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the final products that i normally see like the face is the same throughout so why are you leaving out your forehead as if like you're expecting some duality period right way to use no probably not but like different appearances What's interesting there around the nose? Because I, I don't think there's a brush that you've used that, is, that hasn't been there. Oh, no, no, there is. There is this other one. I don't know what's the name of the product, but you just like applied it closer to your ear. Um. Hey, this one goes to the chin. Mm. Okay. Oh, no, it's your hair, your fingers. You apply different products, like doesn't it affect your olfactory senses? It's different products, really don't smell different than now. No, that's gotta affect your ability to sniff or smell like different things. It's too much. Your forehead. What? Oh, there we go, finally. It's like, it's an afterthought. And that makeup is done. I don't wish to be forehead then. I bro uh, okay you're not throwing it how many see people throwing it well like you see that it's strong They would cut it, make it have sharp edges, especially like towards this. Uh, I don't know, this bone that structures your nose. Mm, mascara. Mm, I know mascara. I wonder, there was this one, concealer, did I miss it? I don't know. It's not dangerous though. Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright. And then 
you are majestic as always. 